Oh, I talk really loud too. I need to like just tone it down. I'm like yelling. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video. So we're gonna continue working on the fuel pump today. And it's not gonna be just a fuel pump video. We actually just wanna show you guys what the inside looks like. We finally figured out it, and this has extended onto like three freaking videos now. It's crazy, but where's this piece? We have to ditch this. It's not giving us the the spring action that that the assembly requires once it's in the tank. Um, so we're getting rid of it. And what we ended up doing here is we created a bracket, as you can see there. And this bracket is actually held on to. by the stock little uh, plastic clips that are on the side. So it clips onto the side of the canister so this thing isn't flopping around. So it came out really cool looking. And we also added some sort of, uh, well it was actually just a piece of like radiator hose that we couldn't have inside of that bracket to prevent it from, you know, or absorbing some of that shock. So. That's all good there, nice and secure, it's riveted on there, and we're good to go. So, we're gonna get this thing back together, and then uh, for today's video, we're gonna do some wiring, and taking out the engine, a little bit of painting here and there, and we'll see what happens, okay? We're gonna drop this in now, and uh, first thing we gotta do is connect our Venturi fitting. This is just gonna rest on the bottom of our tank. Should get the, the return and should also siphon it from the other hump of the fuel tank. Well guys, it's in. We don't know if it's uh, gonna work or not, but it's in there. So we had several issues getting the, the canister to compress just because the way we had our return line set up, so it was hitting the bottom, and it's also connected to the top hat, which was preventing it for it to push down. Um, so anyways, we got it in there, we got it figured out. We had some issues with the outer seal too, getting that press in, in the tank. Our quick disconnect setup, can you see that? Or not? So, got a return and our feed. So those are nicely done. And as you guys can see, we cut the, the original connector off. We have our ground, which is gonna get connected here or in one of those three locations. And then the ground that's gonna go to the original post. Then we have our signal wires, posit positive and negative, that are connected to this relay. Um, and then we have the positive uh, connection that's gonna get connected to the original post on the fuel pump now. Um, and these are just for the fuel level sensors. So that's all done, ready to go. We're not gonna connect anything just yet. We got quite a bit to do. Um, also, the reason why I don't wanna set that up entirely is because we aren't really sure if the green or gray wire is positive or negative. So we're gonna hold off on that. We think it's correct, but just in case, we're not gonna seal it up just yet. Um, at least there's no more fuel exposed out to the car. So that should be ready to go. So coming back out here, changing topics, we gotta get this engine back out. So what we're gonna do is finish it up so we're gonna go ahead and paint the, the heads black and everything else black uh, along with this front cover. And um, while it's out, we also have to bang that uh, cross member a little bit more. Um, down there, you guys can see that. It gets really close to the oil pan, so we just need a little bit more clearance. The other side is good. Um, as we're gonna set this car down to do that, we also have our uh, 90s coming off the oil pan, so our feed and um, the return. So those get really close to the sway bar. Um, I can't really show you guys just because it's like way under the car. Oh, maybe they can't see that. All right, so those are our, both of our 90s right there for our oil uh, feed and return. And to the left of that, you can see our sway bar. So it's getting pretty close. So. We're gonna set the car down to see what kind of movement the sway bar has and to see if those are gonna get in the way. 
And if they're good, we're just gonna leave them. If not, we gotta take them back out and find an alternative. I, I don't know if maybe we can find some sort of like slim um, bulkhead fittings or something that will allow that to clear a little bit more. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now and we're gonna get our uh, water pump and front pulley mounted onto the, to the block as well. And that should be pretty much it. So I think off camera too, maybe. Um, probably gonna work on the harness today. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I don't know. We got quite a bit to do. This will come out fairly fast, so mm -hmm. hopefully we can get it painted right away. But we will see. Yeah, so those fittings that we were talking about, those 90s that come off the oil pan and shoot off to the right of the car, um, those clear. So the sway bar actually moves forward and maybe, you know, to us it wasn't obvious, but yeah, it moved forward and gave us the clearance we need. So that means that when the wheels are fully extended, the suspension is fully extended, the sway bar moves back. So the wheels were off the ground, elevated, and that was maxed out. That's what I'm thinking, so I don't think it's gonna touch. So I think we have the clearance we need there. Well guys, it's about end of the day, and we're gonna wrap this up. Check this out, look at this. Finally got the look that we wanted. Isn't that beautiful? That looks crazy, dude. It looks so I good. I can't stop looking at it. it looks all good. It looks amazing. Once we have our intake and our headers on there, it's gonna look sick. It's gonna look yeah. badass. We um, didn't get our crank on there because we still have to mess around with this bracket, alternator bracket, and um, We'll probably get that done later this week. As you guys saw, we talked about it. Fuel system is pretty much done. Um, everything's ran up to the front of the car. Back is just, uh, we have to hook everything up. And that probably won't be till like the last stages of the build. So right now, um, we didn't get a chance to put a Couple more dents in our cross member down here. Uh, we were gonna do that, but ran out of time. I'm dead. We're gonna call it a day. We'll probably do that throughout the week. We'll see. Then once that's finished, then we'll move on to radiator, cooling, and wiring. So we'll see what happens. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Feel free to comment, and uh, we'll catch you guys next week. So thank you, guys.